Madam, can I give this to you? Has anyone ever offered you a free translation of the Quran? Translation. Free translation of the Quran. Would you be interested in reading a free translation of the Quran? Pardon? You would not. Okay, can I ask you one question? Do you believe in a creator? Pardon? It's hard to say. <laughs> this should be a very easy question for you. Like, is that about yes or no? Uh, you don't sound very convincing, madam. I don't. Don't fake it. My mum's religious, but I'm like on the fence. All right. <clears throat> Clear your mind. Yeah. Did the universe create itself? No. Huh? Exactly, because that statement doesn't make sense because it means it didn't exist, it came into existence to create itself. It's like a mother giving birth to herself, it doesn't make sense. Yeah? Can something come from nothing? Hmm? Exactly. Yeah? From nothing comes nothing. From the absence of something, that's nothing, right? So, where did the universe come from? So we know that it didn't create itself, it didn't come from nothing, it means that it needs something powerful, something outside of the universe, something with intelligence, something with will to put the universe into motion. Do you agree or disagree? So you believe in God now? Yeah. It makes more sense. Does it make sense? Because what ends up happening is we get taught that look, smart people are atheists, to be an atheist is smart. So it must be, it must make sense. And I'm like, no, it's more logical and rational to believe that this universe was created by a creator than to believe it came from nothing. Does it make sense? You could say you don't know, but the reality of it is we don't live our life like this. Nobody lives the life that something can come from nothing. So now, it makes sense that there's a creator. What does the creator want from you and me? Why would the creator you create us? Okay. Well, if someone starts craving to be evil and murder and rape, I would say that the creator of the heavens and earth will give us a perfect guidance that's been perfectly preserved, that has no mistakes in it, and for us to know the Creator. Because what ends up happening is, look, murder, rape, we think, we know it's wrong, yeah? But if someone wants to do it, how can we prevent them? Huh? Exactly. But then this is man-made laws. Yeah? I'm saying that a creator, when they have their own, when he have his own laws and actually say that, look, if you do good things, you enter paradise. If you do bad things, you enter hellfire. How do you feel about this? Because you said your mum's religious, you're a bit on the fence. I mean, there's all different types of like... You talk very quietly, by the way. Sorry. <laughs> you're going to understand? I guess it's like there's always different gods and everyone does I believe that there is something there, but I don't. I don't have like a specific type of god or idol that I look up to worship. Now, in Islam, um... but I do believe they're all like there for a good reason, and mm. they created us for that possible. Yeah, and I think. I think all the major religions in the world, right, have a few things which they have consistent in common. Like there's one creator, yeah? That's consistent. All the major religions agree there's one creator. All the major religions agree there's a heaven. All the major religions agree that there's prophets. All the major religions believe in like divinely inspired scripture, yeah? Um, so there are things we agree on. I'm saying that the Islamic position is there's a creator, created us for a reason, 
told us what that reason is through prophets and messengers. So this is men chosen amongst men, men who are known to be honest, men who are known to be truthful, men who had good character. Yeah? And once they die, the message lives on for a perfect scripture. I mean, that lives on for a scripture. Now, once that scripture gets changed or corrupt, the Creator will send another messenger and another scripture. And then if that changes, God will send another messenger, another scripture. This continued because as a Muslim, I believe in Adam, Noah, David, uh, Moses, Jesus, Prophet Muhammad, and all the messages in between. Yeah? I believe they're all sent by God. The difference in Islam is we believe that because the Prophet Muhammad is the final messenger, there's no more prophets to come, God sent the final scripture, which is the Quran. And because there's no more prophets, there's no more scripture, Allah promised to preserve it. Allah promised to um, like protect it from any corruption or any mistakes. Now, what would you need from me to prove to you that the Quran is perfect and unchanged? What's your criteria, personally? I don't know, that's really specific. Um, no, no, because the thing is... I don't know. I'm it, not, because I'm... As a person, I'm very open-minded, so like, if someone was to talk to me about something that maybe I might not have like a, a specific opinion on, yeah. I would still listen, validate them. Um, I, don't, I don't think you should validate someone if they're wrong. Not if they're wrong. Yeah, alright. <laughs> <laughs> you're just so polite, like, they're just going to validate, you're going to agree with them, like, yeah. But like, I don't... I'm an open-minded person, so I kind of don't like. I don't cross anything off unless it is wrong. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, the reason I always ask people like, "What's your criteria?" is because what would convince me may not necessarily convince you, yeah. and what would convince you may not necessarily convince me. So I'm trying to have like a personal conversation with you, and I would say that look. Firstly, it's the preservation. You know, in, if you Google Quran Birmingham manuscript, you see non-Muslim academics who say that the Quran has been carbon dated to the lifetime of the Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad is the messenger the Quran was revealed to. The Prophet Muhammad spoke Arabic. The Quran is in Arabic. We've preserved the Arabic language by preserving the Quran. Yeah. The Quran Birmingham manuscript the, um, the Quran in a university in Cairo, in a uni uh, museum in Turkey. These are my secondary sources. My primary sources, we have 200 million people who have memorized the Quran word for word, letter for letter, dot for dot. Are you amazed? You don't seem impressed. Like, is that it? 2 million? I'm sorry, um, 200 million people. 200 million people have memorized it. Word for word, letter for letter, dot for dot. So when Allah says Allah will preserve it, Allah has preserved it. And then another argument Allah makes is that if the Quran was from anyone but Him, you would find errors in it. I would argue the Quran is the only scripture um, that talks about um, purpose of life, um, morality, all of these different things, the divine message from God, right, with no contradictions in it. It talks about science, gets it right. It talks about history, gets it right. It makes prophecies, it gets it right. Um, the linguistic miracle. Yeah. How do you feel about that? What I've said so far. <laughs> pressure, pressure, pressure. No, no, don't. It's fine, it's I've fine. I've been traveling for three days. It's also Where are you exhausted. coming from? Um, from Norwich. And I've been traveling from Leeds to Manchester to Birmingham. Is it? How comes? I've been doing auditions. You want to become a. Oh, is it? Okay, hence the <laughs> luggage. Yeah. And I'm having no, like I a full on, full on, full on theological am... conversation, <laughs> and you're thinking, like, no. I want food, <laughs> I want shelter, and I want to sleep. No, yeah. But I do, like, I do understand, um, like, from your perspective, like, I do understand. Um, yeah. Um, my mum's also Christian. Yeah. So. She has a lot of these conversations with you, yeah? She, yeah. <laughs> but I don't really have like a certain uh, 
mode. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. Because um, the point, I'm asking you these questions. It's not like, don't feel like you have to ask me something or it's just, I just want to hear your thoughts on it. It's like, you can challenge me on it if you want. Do you know what I mean? I don't think I have enough in me to challenge you. Is it? Fair <laughs> enough. enough have I said enough to entice you into taking a free translation of the Quran? <laughs> Are you sure? Definitely. Yeah? All right. Like, brilliant. I talk to my mum about it. Too. Yeah. Um, she just, she always goes on about like religion and that sort of thing. I do understand, but I'm just not really. Can I ask you a question? Jesus Christ. Do you believe he's God or is he sent by God? Descent. Hmm? I would say descent. Sent by God, yeah? Yeah, sent by sent God. Sent by God. And as a Muslim, that's what we believe there. Just very quickly, do you have time for this, by the way? Yeah. Are you sure? I mean, I'm waiting for someone, but I don't know. What How long are they going to be? I don't know. He's tried to call me a few times. Yeah. Is it working? Do you want to use my phone to call him? or? No, I don't. Yeah, See, we don't, we don't bother memorizing numbers nowadays. Like, those times are gone. <laughs> but yeah, giving away my age now. Um, yeah, it is what it is. All right, um, the difference between Muslims and Christians is most Christians believe Jesus Christ is God. Because yeah. they have a concept of the Trinity. Um, the Father is God, the Son is God, the Holy Spirit is God. Yeah? They're not three gods, but they're all one God. In Islam, we're saying we believe Jesus Christ is a messenger of God. We believe the Father in heaven is God. And we believe the Holy Spirit is the Archangel Gabriel. That's the power of God. Do you know what I mean? They're three separate beings. They're not one. Yeah? Um, similarly, like in the Bible, Jesus Christ said, he doesn't know when judgment day is. He doesn't know when the hour is. Yeah? In Mark... 1332 he doesn't know when judgment day is only um, the father in heaven knows even the angels don't know so i'm saying that if jesus christ is part of trinity if he's god he should know when judgment day is god can't be ignorant and there's other verses like that but i'm going to go to my beloved cameraman there get you a translation of the quran and give you some time to think about this conversation yeah think about it hold that thought What, what do you know about Islam, by the way? What do you know about Islam? Not Apart, much. Excluding what I've said to you. I don't really know much, to be honest. Do you know I many Muslim people? I've been history. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's fine. I there wish I did, to be honest. But, yeah. I'll do you, I've got a lot of home, so I can get started on that. What is it really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> this, is, this is a very beneficial conversation. You're like, no, nah, I don't want a Quran. And by the end of it, you're like, yeah. Um, but yeah, as, as you're waiting for your friend... Um, God knows where he is. Huh? God knows where he is, but yeah. Right. How, how long have you been waiting for? Um, how long do you think it will be, roughly? Because I, I don't mind keeping you company, talking about theology until he arrives, with your permission. No, you're free to do that, but I Are just sure? don't have my... Do you have, I do you have capacity to listen? I, I do have capacity to listen. Are you I sure? Just don't, I can't answer you probably in the ways that you like because I don't know too much. No, no, it, it, it's, not, it's not even that because what ends up happening is <clears throat> my technique whenever I speak to people is I ask a lot of questions A, just to, just to give a customised answer B, to make sure they're listening <laughs> and C, to make it more engaging because yeah? the thing is if someone is just talking to you it's like at a certain point, you will switch off. I Me, mean, I'm talking from my perspective. Yeah. Most people, some people, they're like, no, no, just, I don't have questions, just tell me, tell me, tell me. Because what ends up happening is, where to, um, like, there's a few things you don't talk about. Religion, yeah. politics, death. And I'm like, wait, those are the most important things. Yeah. What happens after you die? Does it make sense? Which religion is true? It, is any of the religions true? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Does God exist? They're like, no, 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 don't talk about it because they cause arguments, they cause... And I'm like, I've seen more arguments over... What's the word? Football. <laughs> yeah. 
Does that make sense? It's true, yeah. Some people get really <laughs> passionate about football. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to show you this really funny video, right? <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing. Yeah? Alright. I just saw it yesterday and I, I had to save it. Yeah? Everyone's gonna be thinking I'm gonna show you like a really Islamic video. Yeah? But it's actually something funny. Um, just make sure, Stratford Underground Station, yeah? Yeah. I know where he is. <laughs> is it? I think he's literally right there. Is but it? Go, go ahead. <laughs> no, no, you, I'll let you go. Is it? He can join the conversation. Do you think he have more or less energy than you? Uh, he'll probably have more. <laughs> is it? What, what, what's his background? Um, it's not this gentleman, is it? No. I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> oh, I did your... Um, I don't think he's... No, actually, I think he is religious, but I don't think he's like... Embedded his time into religion, I think he just has it as his back, like some of the practices. Okay, and it's funny, right? Because religion is important to me, and I always find out what people believe. And I know I met a couple of weeks ago, right? Because I've filmed these conversations put on YouTube that they're in an active relationship and they don't even know what they believe. I'm like, damn, how are you not in a relationship and you don't know what you believe? And one of them, she's actually really interested in Islam. She was reading the Quran. By the end of it, I don't know why my phone's playing up. <laughs> slow, it's just slow down. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just weird, like, you know, how people can... Different things are important to different people, isn't it? I mean, I would like to know like, what moral perspective somebody holds what the background of the belief is, why they believe what they believe. I guess I'm more into the kind of existential questions. Yeah. But that's just me, isn't it? It's me. But yeah, my, my phone has fully let me down. It's fully let me down. It's not, it's not working. But it's basically, um, there's two grown men, right? Yeah. Swearing at uh, a little kid. And they're on football, it's a football stadium. And they're like really being aggressive. And then it's, it's padding on these two men, swearing and shouting. And it says that you won't believe what they reacted to. And then there's a kid there, and he's just doing this. He's showing zero, one. And just because it's showing like the score, that his team's winning, that these two grown men are just like really upset over it. And I look to myself like, come on guys, grow up. Whenever you speak to someone, it's kind of like, oh, you should believe this, not this, a lot of them. Yeah, 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 no, because I think... I think that's why, like, I just have such an open-minded person, because I'm like, I don't want to get into arguments about it, but I also respect other people's opinions about it, mm. unless they're not great people. Pardon? Unless they're not, like, great opinions, then yeah. that's what I kind of, like, get them to say, well... Yeah. That's not really good. But what would you describe a not so great opinion? It's important, like as you said, we're brave, um, murders. And by the way, I don't think anyone... Oh, there are people who do it. Yeah. Yeah. And what happens is, you know, we have um, subjective morality. Yeah. So then I've had conversations where it's like people are atheists. And it's like, where do you get your moral code from? I'm like, can you tell me that rape is wrong? Yeah, they're like, yes, in my opinion, it's wrong. I'm like, can you tell me it's going to be wrong in a hundred years time? They're like, no, because it's subjective. Does that make sense? So this is why I believe religion and religion from God is very important. Because you need objective morality. So it's like, it's no longer my opinion. It's God said so, Allah said so, so. It's wrong now, and it's going to be wrong in a thousand years' time. Does that make sense? And, yeah. And what ends up happening is, like, we could say rape is wrong, but what are we doing in regards to stopping the behaviour and the mindset that leads to that? Do you know what I mean? Because it's like, it's not happening in a vacuum where... Um, there's, 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 there's this whole kind of... I don't know. We need to we need to really look at how we're looking at society because I worked in a 
I used to work in Romford, yeah. And the whole rape culture and how women were being treated was like, it, was just, it just blew my mind. Because this is East London, I'm like born and brought up in Stratford, right? And then it's like, every single woman that I was working with, which was a predominantly woman environment, like, they're just telling me about all these atrocious stories of how they get treated on a day-to-day -day basis. And I'm like, we can't normalize this behavior. And they're like, yeah, I'm just used to working from point A to point B and getting catcalled. I'm like, but that shouldn't be normal. I'm used to walking from point A to point B and then in between someone grabbing my backside. I'm like, no, that's not right. Yeah, can you see him? Huh? Just walked past. Oh, is it? I can see you smiling. Where is he? Where is he? Just walked past. <laughs> grab him, grab him. Can you tell him to come here, join the combo? Is it a camera show? Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah.